Hello and welcome. It's Monday, the first business day of the week. Thank you for joining us on Business Incorporated, coming to you live from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. On the program today, Egypt's stock exchange to reduce trading halt time to 15 minutes. Oil denied Saudi Arabia the opportunity to overtake South Africa as the biggest stock market in the Middle East and Africa. Plus, South Africa in danger of missing 2017 growth target. Let's get started now. We're beginning with the markets. And here in Africa, all the markets were in the green at intraday. However, Egypt is outperforming its peers, trading higher 0.63% as the financial regulator has approved the stock exchange's decision to reduce trading halt times to 15 minutes, down from 30 minutes as of Tuesday's session. Uh, the decision will lead to a shortening of the time for which trading can be temporarily halted on a security during a session due to a price change and will provide the boss management the flexibility to increase or decrease halt times within a 15 to 30 minutes range. South Africa's uh, JSC index was up 0.52% and the Nigerian All Share Index uh, was trading up 0.14%. The market in Canada's Nairobi Stock Exchange closed in the green on Friday up 1.01%. And in the Middle East, the start of a major international real estate exhibition in Dubai today boosted shares in some second-tier developers, helping to drive broader market gains there. The Dubai index climbed 0.18% at intraday as Union Properties, the most heavily traded stock, added 1.7% and Daya gained 1.5%. The biggest developer, Airmar Properties, lagged, edging up uh, 0.2%. Uh, direct sales of United Arab Emirates properties are being allowed at this year's annual Cityscape exhibition in Dubai for the first time in a decade. South Arabia, Saudi Arabia's index climbed 0.31% um, as Nama Chemicals, which had surged 9.5% in unusually heavy trade on Sunday, added a further 4.8% to 22.48 reals, but shed, uh, shied away from technical resistance at its May peak of 23.22 reals. Petrochemical stocks were strong in general after oil prices rose slightly overnight in response to the Saudi Arabian oil minister discussing the possible extension of a pact to cut global oil supplies beyond March 2018. And uh, moving on to Qatar now, the index, um, which fell to an 18-month closing low on Sunday, dropped a further 0.55% as Qatar National Bank, the biggest lender, lost 1.1%. Abu Dhabi also dropped 0.16%. In the meantime, oil may have denied South, Saudi Arabia the opportunity to overtake South Africa as the biggest stock market in the Middle East and Africa, even as political turmoil and a faltering economy hold back share prices in Johannesburg. The total market capitalization of the South African bourse was $489 billion as of Friday about $25 billion more than that of Riyadh's after its main index advanced 10% this year, about five times the gain in Saudi Arabia's Tadwal All Share Index. The kingdom's market reforms, which were designed to attract foreign investors, have been countered by the effects of lower oil prices, the kingdom's main source of income. Analysts say while South Africa politics is improving a bit and the economy is now out of recession, Oil prices haven't gone up, and Saudi Arabia's inclusion of MSCI emerging markets is still pretty remote. Saudi Arabian shares erased losses for the year in June when index complier MSCI Incorporated said the country could potentially be classified as an emerging market next year, a move that will trigger billions of dollars of inflows. Moving now to Europe, where stocks were higher in morning trade, supported by gains in Asian trade, as investors continued to monitor the economic impact of Hurricane Irma. For more, 
Let's bring in my colleague in Frankfurt, Orich Bats, to give us details. Good afternoon, Orich. It's a beautiful week, a beautiful day. Thank you very much for joining us on Business Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> now, European That's stocks... Funny. European stocks are bouncing up early today after a weekend impact by Hurricane Irma. And uh, we can see Germany's uh, Munich reinsurance making gains. What are the stocks and sectors are riding the storm for gains and maybe losses? Yeah, I think uh, the, the people here in the markets are looking uh, mainly at the gainers. Uh, at the moment, uh, the people who are losing are the people whose homes are being flooded and who are losing homes or who are losing their businesses. Uh, and uh, the, uh, let's say, the commercial interests involved uh, mainly benefit, for example, the insurers, the, especially the reinsurers. They're looking at higher premiums once this thing is over and they've paid out damage claims and perhaps stop an erosion of their profit margins, which has been going on in that industry for years. But uh, they're quite confident, confident tones uh, coming from industry representatives who are meeting at the moment uh, in Monte Carlo. Um, that sounds very macabre, but uh, that's the way it is in the insurance business. And uh, you see similar arguments uh, for the car industry. Lots of cars and other vehicles are being lost. Uh, some replacement there may aid, perhaps not uh, noticeably percentage-wise, but uh, be good for some of the car dealers and some of the car companies. Uh, likewise with building materials or with hardware stores. So uh, with all this disaster taking place at the market, people are, I think, mainly concentrating on those who stand uh, as uh, terrible as it sounds to benefit from this.